Hi, welcome to Storytime with Gigi. Today, our story is called Laundry Day by Jessica Bagley. I like the art. I'm bored, said Tick. Me too, said Tack. Why don't you two read a book? You love to read, said Ma Badger. We read all our books, said Tick. Then we read them backwards, said Tack. <clears throat> There's Ma Badger doing the laundry. Well, how about building a fort, asked Ma Badger. We already made one, said Tick. Then we invaded it and it fell apart, said Tack. What about fishing, said Ma Badger, tiredly. We caught all of the fish in the pond, said Tick. Then we let them go, said Tack. They're too many silly badgers. Look at Ma Badger. Well, would you like to help me hang the laundry, said Ma Badger. Are they really jumping from the tree into the laundry? Laundry, Tick asked, looking surprised. We haven't done that yet, said Tack. Okay, they chimed together. Let me show you how. Take the wet clothes and sheets out of the basket. Don't let them fall on the ground. Then take the clothespins and clip them on the line. Like this, asked Tick. Very good, said Ma Badger. It's so easy, shouted Tack from the other end of the clothesline. Will you boys finish hanging the laundry for me while I go to the market, asked Ma Badger. Sure, Ma, chirp Tick and Tack. These little mice are showing up everywhere. Tick and Tack quickly went to work hanging every shirt, sock, sheet, and sweater that was in the basket. That was fun, but we're out of laundry already, said Tick. There's a mouse. <coughs> hmm. I have an idea, said Tack. We can hang the winter clothes and blankets, said Tack. Good thinking, said Tick. Once those items were hung, Tick and Tack looked at the line. That's it. We're out of clothes and sheets, said Tick. But we're not out of twine, said Tack with a grin. Tick and Tack ran inside and each grabbed an apple barrel full of odds and ends from the house and started to hang them up. This is great, shouted Tick. It sure is. What else is there, asked Tack. Look at these silly badgers. What are they hanging up? Pictures, carrots, paintbrushes, umbrellas, jars, books, brooms, pots and pans, alarm clocks. So silly. 
They ran all over the house, gathering every whatnot, bauble, and trinket they could find. They picked up every knick-knack, this and that, and bric-a-brac in the house. They grabbed buckets and books. They pilfered the pots. They pirated pillows. They looted lampshades and even took the toaster. Silly badgers. They hung everything they could find that wasn't nailed down. This reminds me of Mrs. McNosh hangs up the wash. Remember that silly story? We're really good at this, said Tick proudly. I'm pretty impressed myself, said Tack. Toilet seat, do you see that? Glasses, there's another mouse. But just then, Ma came home from the market. The mailbox and the mattresses too. Tick and tack, what have you done, she hollered. Um, we hung up the laundry, said Tick. Uh, and a few other things, said tack. Look at that. Look at that. All over the yard. Well, I'm not sure how you did it, said Ma Badger, but you forgot a couple of things. And look at all the crazy things that they hung up. Looks like they emptied the house. I'm bored, said Tick. Me too, said Tack. I wonder if Ma needs help with dinner. She hung them up on the line. <laughs> and that's our story. I hope you liked it. Make sure you like and subscribe and share with your friends. Bye until next time.